Welcome to Atlas Field Engineers video on how to review, edit, and close your jobs in Jobber. All your jobs through Atlas should be visible in the Jobber calendar. If you happen to get a job you cannot do, please call Atlas Scheduling immediately. Scheduling will take this job off. Do not edit it yourself in Jobber. If you find yourself frequently canceling jobs, know we are noticing this too. Please put in as many unavailable times as you are aware of. He saves Atlas and yourself unnecessary communication and potential misbookings. It prevents us from calling you on days you want to be off. Do communicate any cancellations as soon as possible. Chances are we can reschedule these jobs. However, the closer we are to the date, the more unlikely it is we can reschedule. Try to adhere to jobs that are the same on the next day. Jigalops cancelled within 48 business hours without valid reason will result in a miscommit for which you will be charged. Valid reasons examples would be car troubles or illness. Do remember though, for any submitting of a valid reason you need documentation alongside with it such as doctor note or repair bill. Any job scheduled for you will have a time slot on the calendar. It should display your first initial, last name and customer group. Sometimes it would also have the letters TRVL and a dollar amount on there which would indicate the travel expenses paid to you. Usually this is for jobs more than 50 miles away. If you click on the job, you will see the start window of the job. Start windows can be hard time or have an actual window. In this example, it is 8 to 10. Other jobs are required to be started at a certain time without window. There you will see the same time in start and end. This means you have to be there at that time and there is no leeway. To see more details of the job, click on the view details of the pop-up. On the next screen you should see the job, <coughs> the job number and the address of the job. Do not mark this job as completed until you are completely uh, done with uploading paperwork and putting in notes for the job. To retrieve your paperwork, you have to click on uh, the further detail on this uh, pop-up and then you will see this detailed screen of the job. All the way on the bottom of this job screen is your paperwork to be downloaded as well as any notes that pertain to this job. Especially notes related to the job that are norm uh, that are that indicate any special equipment or materials you need to bring or other important job site details will be mentioned there. Once you are about to leave or have left the job site, upload all the filled in paperwork to Jobber. We request that all takes do this the same day, preferably right after job completion. All paperwork alongside any pictures have to be uploaded in image format. You might have to take a screenshot or take a picture with your phone. To upload, you have to click on the upload file button on the bottom right within the inter internal notes and attachments section. Again, you can only upload pictures. If you have any notes to add, please do so there too. Do add your date and initials so we know who was noted done by and when. Especially jobs that can be completed or you could not get to, we request that you put in some information so in future reference we know what this was about. You can also add in a timesheet and expenses in the middle of the job sheet. To add a time entry, or aka a timesheet, click on the new button in the middle section of employee costs. There you can enter start and end time to indicate the time on site. Make sure all the information is correct before you save. can enter several timelines if necessary. 
In the same section, you can also add expenses. You do the same thing as with the timeline. You click on New, and then select Expenses. Here you do the same thing as with the timeline. You add in all the uh, necessary information, just the item name that needs to be reimbursed for, the details, and the total cost. You can mark this off as non-reimbursable, but that would not be wouldn't be really a reason for putting this in then. You can add a receipt, scan, or picture by clicking on the browse on the button and attaching it. Make sure all the information is correct before you save. Here too, you can add several different expenses to the same job. Once you have uploaded all your paperwork, filled in all of the pertaining notes, and put in your time on expenses, you can close the job. It was not a bad idea to review all the information before exiting the job sheet. <laughs> to exit the job, just go back to the calendar out of weekly and monthly view. To close the job, click on the job again, go to the details until you see the part where you can mark off the completed. Again, make sure everything is completed before you, can, you mark it off as completed.